All right, now I'm going to work on that uh, broken rail. First, I have to get these uh, bolts out that someone put in at some point. All right, I've got that uh, chunk out of the way and the uh, reinforcing uh, strip on the back side. We'll put that back on. And what we're going to do here is uh, mortise in a piece. I'll cut out all this uh, damaged area from the molding, from one molding to the other. And this, the depth of this will go down from here down to the, uh, the uh, saw cut where the uh, hook slips in. Alright, I also did a patch on the inside and I made some uh, pins from a 5 16 inch bolt and I had trouble getting one in. I had to enlarge the hole in the hook. Just took a 5 16 inch drill and just drilled out the hook and then the pin uh, went right in. I used some ready patch to uh, smooth out any uneven areas and then uh, did a final sanding with some 100 grit paper. All right, now I'm going to do a test fit. And take a measurement for slats. I'll use some 1x6 pine. Okay, uh, we're down in the finishing room now. Uh, we're going to do the shabby chic finish on the bed. Uh, but first I have to uh, bring the uh, new oak up to match uh, the white paint on the rest of the uh, bed frame. Um, if you look down here, uh, the original finish is exposed right here. They didn't paint over this part. So it gives me a chance to see what the original finish was. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, Bring the new wood up to match this first. I'm going to put a dye stain on the oak and then a couple coats of shellac to bring it up to this color first. And then do two different paints, first the gray and then the white to bring it up to match the rest of the bed. Okay, here's a sample I made up. Uh, first is an aniline dye. We're going to mix a couple aniline dyes together to uh, get very close to the original finish that was exposed there on that post. Just has to be close. Doesn't have to be exact. All, all we're concerned about is the uh, background color. Having a dark background Next color. Next step is to put a, a gray paint. And I just happen to have a an old can of uh, gray porch paint that matches exactly. And then I dug out a, another can of uh, white paint yeah, it's uh, very close to the uh, original white. Then we'll uh, sand through the paints to uh, expose that dark underneath. And then the last step is to put a uh, dark walnut stain and then a clear finish over that. Okay, the uh, dandelion dye is here. Um, dark uh, brown walnut 
and a little bit of uh, red mahogany dye. I mix those together. All right, the next thing is the uh, gray paint. I'm also coloring in the back to match the original. All right, now we're on to the uh, white paint. I ended up putting a second light coat over the uh, gray and then did one very light coat over the rest of the bed. All right, now uh, we've let that uh, paint dry overnight. And now what we're going to do is um, sand with the 100 grit paper and a sanding block. And I like to uh, use sanding sponge. Uh, these have a grit on them, but that kind of wears out after a while. Um, you can use the, if you get a new one, you can use the grit. But this one's kind of worn out and it makes a great sanding block, nice and soft. So it conforms to the corners. Expose some of the uh, dark color underneath the uh, gray paint and the uh, stain. Okay, uh, just finishing up the uh, sanding. Make sure it looks uh, uniform, has a uniform appearance. And now we'll put a uh, dark walnut stain over it. All right, we're gonna use a uh, yellow can uh, dark walnut, and I'm gonna mix it half and half with naphtha. And this is just like glazing. I did that in a previous video, uh, glazing a chair.
Now I'm just going to do a final wipe down with naphtha and do a few touch-ups with the stain if needed. Now I'm going to do the top coat, which is two coats of a water-based polyurethane.